we just finished discussing this first part of 68 percentage or almost 70 percent 70 percent of distribution and i just now go to the second page where i'm talking about that a bit more the reason is for you to understand that understand the idea behind because what i'm currently sharing with you is is something more about statistics and probability but to be honest if you understand this concept the whole three sigma algorithm will be much easier for you to put in your own app or your own programming language and work with that so i'm also sharing with you and of course you can stop the video and you can read again how to calculate standard deviation but as i said it's not important important is this sentence i show you this one right so let's say our mean like a standard simple average which you calculated from hits in 37 spins you know hit is if one number for example number 30 will hit that's a one hit and we are taking average of all of these hits and it's one obviously and if you calculate the first sigma like uh, first standard deviation you probably get a number this is just an example 0 0.80 right and if you take the mean like one and from both sides you add and simply take minus then you will have a range and the range will be 0 0.2 to 1.8 and, and then in this case you can say that mostly 70% of all numbers which are hitting which are simply considered in 37 spins will have less than 2 hits in 37 spins based on our example right based on our example and now again you might ask what is good for yeah we are going to use this knowledge partially for predicting numbers of online roulette i'm saying partially because i'm not going to implement just purely take the standard deviation first second and third standard deviation based on sigma based on normal distribution and gauss curve and just having a winning system it doesn't work like that i had to really somehow adjust that to be able to really helping me to earn money playing online roulette with this three sigma algorithm and this I'm going to share with you in the next slide.